And joining us now to discuss some tips for planting are Vicki and Mickey Popat, who created a website focused on gardening called Plantagram. Good afternoon to you both. How has this hey, good, afternoon. good afternoon, Kendall? How are you? Doing wonderful. So glad to have you on Fox Weather this afternoon. I want to ask, how is this weather this past winter? We know it was very unusual for so many folks across the U.S. How has that really factored into planting this spring? Well, it's changed a lot because, I mean, for example, in Houston, Texas, you know, it's always been kind of borderline for growing tropical plants, and the last two seasons have been extremely cold. So a lot of clients, or a lot of gardens that we've had outside have um, tropical fruit trees like mangoes, avocados, outdoors. You know, they've been doing good for maybe eight, ten years, and then the last year or two, they've had several days of frost, um, you know, back to back, and it's literally wrecked havoc on these kind of plants. So um, what, we, what we've been noticing is a lot of clients, a lot of gardens are going to what they call dwarf semi or semi dwarf grafted plants such as this um uh, kesar mango kesar mango you've got the super house avocado their container growing is and they're still able to get a lot of fresh fruits full-size fruits in one to two years and what's nice about these plants they're actually a hedge against the cold weather so um you know they can spend most of the year outside on a patio or outdoors and then in, in case you do get a couple of nights of frost you can always move them indoors you can always move them into a patio or even if you have a garage or if you know if, if you don't have any other space you can move them indoors near a south facing window so they're very and versatile they do absolutely amazing so that's definitely a good uh, good way to hedge against the cold winters especially if you're in an area like houston texas which is kind of borderline for a lot of tropical fruit trees so um and they, the nice thing about them too is that they can also be grown in colder areas for example like new york city um chicago some places where People, they do very well. We have yeah. a lot of our gardeners that are on the northeast part of the country, and they have them growing in their apartments. And it's kind of funny when they get all the fruit, they share it with everybody in the building. <laughs> and, and what's really nice about growing them up north, you don't need a patio even. They can be, they can spend their entire life in a container between 15 to 25 gallon size container, and they can just be kept indoors year round. I mean, so that's, it's a you know, very great. versatile plant. That, that's what I need at my house. <laughs> so I want to ask you guys, you have something in front of us on the table. What do you have for us? So I know everybody's gardening. I know this is the time for everyone to be outside and start putting their seeds in the ground and getting it ready to go. Unfortunately, I know our Northeast part of the country, they won't be able to do that. So I have been putting together stuff where, you know, you can reuse a lot of your takeout containers. You can use any kind of Tupperware. You just need some newspaper on hand. You want to create a greenhouse effect and you want to start your seeds in a moist uh, paper towel or in your, uh, what's it called here? You can, the, the you can put them in the Tupperware. And then after a couple of weeks, you get a beautiful, I don't know if you can see that. Yes. It's a beautiful seed that's already sprouted and you can pop that directly in the dirt. Yes, so when it's time. So, so for the, the gardeners in the northeast and stuff out in the garden outside. You want to do it indoors. You definitely are so, going to want to. So you don't want to miss out on spring. You won't miss yes. out. Yeah, you won't miss out. You get a little bit of extra time. You grow them inside, let them germinate. And by the time, in about a month or so, when it warms up, they'll be ready to go right outdoors. So right that makes outdoors. it a little easier for them. I love that. So just kind of repurposing some items that you have just already lying around at your house <laughs> to get a head start. Yes. So by by the time you start warming up, you can head the, or move those plants outdoors. Well, those are wonderful yes. tips. Vicki and Mickey Popat from Plantagram, we really appreciate you joining us today on Fox Weather. And all of those tips and tricks, I know that I'm going to be using myself, trying to get more of a, that green thumb, as people say. So we're looking forward to seeing all those beautiful blooms that will be popping up later this spring.